Greetings, church. Pastor Bob here. Um, it's Thursday morning. Some of you have been on the Mexico trips with me. Some of you have gone to Israel with us. And uh, the Lord keeps me busy with a lot of different things around the church. But uh, as I was thinking this week about what I wanted to share with you, I was remembering something. And that is that the church is not the building. It's the people. And though we can't meet together right now, God still wants to use us in great ways to be a light to this world. Uh, I was thinking about Acts chapter 2, verse 42, where the Lord talks about how we grow and what a great time for us to grow. And the church usually grows during tough times. Of course, in Acts, it talks about staying in the Word. We need to do that. Some of you have extra time to study the Word. Maybe not planned, but you've got it now. And uh, though you can't go to the store and get your favorite food or maybe even go to a restaurant and get your favorite meal, you can have a spiritual banquet. I think, too, it's important for us to fellowship. And right now, that's another difficult thing. But uh, be creative. Get on Skype and Zoom and Marco Polo or any of those other things. Encourage one another. Pray for one another. Talk to one another. Send scripture to one another. And then, of course, communion. And that's hard to do right now, too. But it's so important and why we do it every week at the church. I would encourage you to have communion at home. Nobody says you have to come to the building. Paul talks about just remembering the Lord, honoring the Lord, and meditating on the work that he did for you. And then of course, prayer. And uh, can't stress that enough. We all know that we need to pray. We can pray for the persecuted church. We can pray for the sick. We can pray for this church. We can pray for one another. And prayer is so much more than just talking. It's listening to the Lord. And I think the Lord's gonna speak to a lot of us during these times. So one verse I'd like to leave you with today, it's Psalm 27, one. It says, the Lord is the light of my life and whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my salvation. Of what shall I be afraid? May the Lord continue to use us as a light to this world. Let's pray. Father, I wanna thank you for the body of Christ. I wanna thank you for the work that you're doing. I wanna thank you for the things you're teaching us. And Lord, we thank you that even though the rest of the world is in panic in many places, we have peace, peace from you. We have hope. We know that uh, we have you and we have a plan and a purpose for the future. Lord, we ask that you'd pour your spirit upon us, that you'd continue to give us your wisdom, that we would honor you with the things we say and do. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, church. Have a good day in the Lord.